good morning. It's a Monday morning. We actually, I don't know if um, I mentioned it on here, but I did say in my Insta story a few months ago that we were thinking about moving to Vintador, um, which is a city between St. Gallen and Zurich. Um, because there's a lot more job opportunities in Zurich. Um, but then, you know, coronavirus happened and, you know, one thing, like not all the stars aligned. So we decided, you know what, let's just stick with where we are. We're happy here. It's really a great price for what we have, you know, to be just like honest. It's a good deal, this apartment. So, um we decided we we're going to do a few things to like freshen it up and make it work a little bit better for us. Um, one of the things is buying a new couch. Okay, wait, I'm going to flip you around and talk you through this. Right. So these black leather lumps came with the apartment because this is a furnished place. Um, but they're super uncomfortable and not very practical. I mean, as you can see, they like take up the whole room and you can literally only see three people there. Um, I have them kind of pushed over where they don't normally go right now because they're supposed to represent the dimensions of the new couch that we're ordering. Um, so normally that chair is like centered on the window and this is like pushed over. But I wanted to make sure that the new couch wouldn't feel too big and I think it's gonna be good once the rug is like repositioned, it'll be good. Oh, here, I'll show you from this angle. Here's our dining room. So the other area that we want to change is in the kitchen. This table, okay, first of all, those are our winter tires for our new car under there. We need to transport them back to Hendrick's parents' house's store. Um, but this table, we do not sit at it to eat like ever. Um, and it is just so big for the space and our coffee machine's over here and it's like sideways. And so yeah, this is not really working for us. Okay, right, I have you in a cupboard now. Um, but if you've seen like our apartment tour, you will know that like pretty much all the furniture that came to this place was here. Because our landlord runs a lot of like student accommodations in this building. So she always has people like coming in and out and she just gives them couches and beds and desks and whatever they need. Um, so at the time when we moved here, it worked really well for us because neither of us had like any stuff now that we're staying we just want to update it a little bit and i kind of bugged hendrick to ask our landlord like in the spring when we were doing the outdoor area so that was in may like hey can you make a plan with her like where we can put these couches and i was really nervous about buying a new couch and being stuck with the couches that we currently have and just having like three couches and nowhere to put them um so we kind of held off with ordering a couch and we literally just now picked one it's on the end of august we just now picked a couch we're ordering it literally today um and it says that it's gonna take eight or nine weeks to arrive and she just got back to us and wants the couches tomorrow so we're gonna have two months of no couch which is kind of weird but yeah it's a little strange but anyway that is a problem for future lisa i guess because right now the number one thing that i need to do is hop on the ikea kitchen planner and start to map out the kitchen that we have so i can visually see what the breakfast bar will look like um yeah so i'm hoping that this solves our problem hendrick does still want a place to sit because he actually does eat oh my gosh you can like see the edge of the counter i'm sorry um but he does actually sit here like to eat sometimes i never do i never sit in here because i don't like being in here um but <laughs> hopefully after the breakfast bar exists uh i will be happy to be in here and we're hoping to get the like coffee station like turned the right way um, but as you can see, we have like a whole cabinet. Oh, let me, let me show you because you can't see. A whole cabinet of like our microwave and tea and stuff. <sighs> so, hopefully this works. Wish me luck. Hello, future Lise popping in to show you the solution we came up with for the two months no couch situation. So we got these cots 
from Ikea. I will link them below. Um, it's just a plain white sheet on top that we have washed many times. Every time there's a spill, we just pop it off and wash it. Um, and then we have these bigger white pillows that were on our bed that we just moved out with some throws. Um, and it looks pretty good. It works fairly well. It's great for guests because it's like a proper bed. And once our couch finally, finally arrives, which it's November 15th right now. So that, that at least was talking to me from August and now it's November 15th. So <laughs> it should be here soon. And then these will go to live at Hendrick's parents' house for when guests come to Switzerland. Um, they're just really great when they're stacked. It's a twin bed. And when they're next to each other, you can either have two beds or you can snap them together to make one double bed. And I highly recommend them if you need a in between kind of thing and actually i've seen a girl use like really luxe linen sheets and pillowcases and she made like a modular couch out of these beds so i will try to find that video and yeah i think that they're just like a really great solid purchase and really affordable for what they are after eight thousand to psychia we had to buy a divider for the car ride home from all the couple fighting in ikea Mm. All right, the red wine is flowing. We've got the table and the shelf out of here. It feels so much bigger, weirdly. We are interested to see how this outlet will play into the new plan. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way. Um, but now we're gonna start building our new cabinet. Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I'm looking rough. Just woke up. There's no coffee yet because all of our kitchen stuff is here. But we got the cabinet put together. We couldn't go to bed without putting in the organizers. We've got the shelf and microwave in here and it's looking good so far. So we're about to figure out how to put on the extremely heavy countertop and then we'll pile it full of stuff and then we'll be good to go. So we're on to the last step, which is this um, material which like covers the legs under the cabinet. And then we're done. I am so excited this project is really going to change the way we use our kitchen and it's looking so nice. Um, the most difficult parts are definitely putting the drawer together because there's like lots of different categories of drawer which changes how you put the front on and if it's on upside down like we did a couple of times then it doesn't close all the way because like the front is like too low what else would you say was the was the tricky part this part yeah making sure the cabinet is level so that the um doors line up which we still don't have perfect but we've got as good as we can get it the other tricky part was putting these black brackets on to kind of support the countertop make sure you get these on before you put the countertop on because we didn't and then we had to take it off to put these black things on 
So yeah, those are our tips. But otherwise, I mean, it's Ikea. You look at the little pictures and you figure it out. And we're just so happy with how it turned out. The exciting things of this new island is that we finally get to break out with this silverware set I bought a few months ago. We've been waiting until we had this nice drawer organizer to break out. Oh my gosh, what a boring grown-up thing to be excited about. So I wasn't planning on filming this part. It's a few days later, so I won't show you the state of my hair, but I did want to show you how I figured out how to hang these new glass shelves that I got with these really cool like sandwiching brackets. The shelf goes between these two pieces and it will kind of um, sit between there like this, but obviously we got a square one. Um, so for this step, we do have our little, I don't even know, we got this on sale, a drill, and a set of drill bits and I think this is the first tool anyone should get for their arsenal. I've hung this old box on the wall and it basically represents the space between the shelves. It's the same width as the shelves and so the first one will sit there and the second one will sit there and I've marked where the holes um, need to go in as a little template for myself so I know that it's 60 centimeters from the ceiling and 60 centimeters from the edge of the counter since I don't have a level. So I'm hoping that those will come out pretty good and not be too complicated, but wish me luck. <laughs> We've been enjoying the breakfast bar for two and a half months now and we couldn't be happier. We got so much more storage without sacrificing the seating that we had in here. This also gives us a lot of extra cooking space in our relatively small kitchen which has been really great. I am loving these chairs that we got from Livic. They add such a great pop of color and are super comfortable. If you want to make this for yourself, I've linked everything down below. One thing that I do want to note is that the overhang of the countertop is a bit longer than what IKEA suggests, so it does have some give when you lean against it. Uh, this could be solved with a leg, but we just don't think that it gives enough to justify changing the look of the breakfast bar with adding a leg. But, you know, the choice is yours. If you do make it, please tag us. We'd love to see it in your space. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!